Welcome back to what is another new campaign. Yes, um, something called UAD and it's same wiping up updates on the live branch, mind you. It's causeless. Again. Again. You can probably tell by this point. I've had enough of it. <laughs> right. with that tower. Can fit with that tower. No center line twelve, please. go. There we go. And a medium bar belt and stern as well. Oh, there we go. Now actually to fully make this a British vessel, I'll go with that layout on the um, guns there. And then side 12 inch guns will take up the hull space there, which then will later on in life be replaced by a cute, an extra cute. I've just realized something actually. We haven't put in our secondary tally yet. Still here. Windows are burning for the dream. Hello. This isn't uh, war crime creation time. But yeah, this is a new British campaign because of uh, save wiping. Save wiping on a large scale. The hell is even going on with my screen right now? There we go. Actually, move that back a bit. So, move that down there. So, then the engines are back. And then, Q turret. Cute little Q turret. Just there. Good. Good. We have appeased the Q turret conundrum. Fans. gonna be only equipped with 12 inch guns but our battle cruisers are gonna have bigger guns. What I'm doing this as is that these ships are like the older dreadnought types we have in the fleet and then very recently we had in the addition of our battle cruisers so these guys are gonna come originally with triple expansion engines at a relatively decent 22 knots. Uh, 
The steam expansion engines as well would actually be good for us on getting long range with this thing. Now crop wise, I'm going to say that it was brought in in the era with crop 2. To anti-torp, I'm going to say is a new thing. The Citadel, obviously been a thing around all the time. So are those. <coughs> Again, these things could also be refitted, so. Uh, Dunite, Cordite 2, Enhanced, Electrical Turret, says we're going to do this as a time period we thought electricals would work. Stereoscopic 2, because we didn't know better. Five inches on the belt, five inch on the main deck, fore and aft are the same, good. Superstructure, 0.5, conning tower, 15 inch. Nothing's really going to pen that conning tower in this era, more than likely. 16, 4, 11, good, good. Good, we have a slight half weight offset which I can probably fix with a single 5 inch gun to the forward section there on each side. And then they're protected by that uh, thing there for against spray, I should say. 4 inch top, 6 inch sides. Six inch sides for no, five inch sides. There we go. Slightly thinner armor on the bow, but that fixes our offset. And this isn't going to be known as the Ajax. This is a. Uh, oh, got to add the HMS to the front. HMS on strike. Hello there, Robbo. Yeah, I missed the stream earlier because I was uh, in the middle of recording an EP. Now, here's something I thought I did but didn't do and have just now resolved. Right, yeah. HMS on strike, which, um,. In Britain, you would definitely know that is true. <laughs> anyway, next up, battle cruisers, because we all love battle cruisers. Now, this thing is not going to be known as HMS favorite. This thing is going to be known as HMS. HMS Shaftesbury, which, um, for viewers unaware, it's named after my hometown. That's as, that's as much information of where I live as you're getting. Yeah, I know, but it's just a bit of a reference to how, um, things are going in the country right now, and... This battle cruiser here is going to be the only one of our battle cruisers that isn't named after a character from a certain book series, which you'll realise what that certain book series will be when we get into the naming conventions of the other ones. Right. This thing, twin 13.5 inch guns right now, but we are going to leave room for 15 inch guns because... I'm crazy and I'm going to fit these things with 15 inch guns when we get 15 inch guns. But for right now, 13.5s will do. And then if I can fit a Q in, I will do. Yep, I can fit a Q in, so I will do. Oh god. 
Something is making me realize I may need to put in a larger barbettes on the bar... Bets. Undo that mistake. Okay, so... I'm going to go with standard barbet for this one because... We're going to be fitting it with 15s in the future, so... Uh, HMS Sked... Sked Mask? Not Ski Mask, or however the hell you properly say it. I, I'm i sure on how you say it. I do apologise if I have just uh, butchered a pronunciation of my own country. Well, yeah. But I will um, do that name. Right, so... Main Belt which this is going to be a bit of an extreme belt for a battle cruiser, 13.5 inch. With four and a half being four, four each. Main deck, four with two, two. You know what, just better off doing it this way. Oh, bother, Let's double click is Kind of annoying. Conning Tower. Yeah. No. No. Twelve. None. This. Twelve inch Conning Tower. That is a pretty hefty four way offset, um, I will admit. Yeah, putting that engine back in there helps it a bit. Okay. That's about as far back as we can fit that turret. That's about as far back as we can fit that turret. Yep, that's about as far back as that turret can go. Nope, you are being moved back, good sir. To account for the full rate offsetting of our of our glorious battle cruiser, which uses the best technology available to us. Question, Robbo, is chat still alive in the XCOM? And if it's uh, one member has died, please tell me that it's fives that died. But seeing as we're British here. 4.7. No, 7. Thank you. 4.7 inch guns. We'll take up the gun decks. How about gun decks? hoping that we would have had an unfortunate loss of fives. Well, at least at least that's some good news. There'd be less chance of him being the Kamchatka of chat squad. Oh, God. Um. Who did we lose in Delta? Please don't tell me Alaric died. But if... Well, if Alaric's one of the Delta survivors, he could get moved over to chat and we can fire fives. No, I sh I I think 
think I should just do as a bit of a bit of a joke. Um. Oh, okay. I think we should do those a bit of a bit of a joke. Well, I should do as a bit of a joke. Is um. <clears throat> Do a ban in game action having five as a soldier <laughs> and see how see how Monroe would react to that. <laughs> right. Orcs two. Your engines are going to propel you up to a thirty two knot top speed. Up. Uh, Robo, I'm thinking we may have to remove Q turret. Yeah. Uh, Robo, I think we may have to remove Q turret. We are um, running out of weight. Yeah, we are running out of weight here. <laughs> Shells capitalistic of <coughs> each. Cordite two. Hmm. I don't want to reduce the speed. I don't want to reduce the speed. Just the range. Yes. Armor belt, maybe 11 inch will do. Con tower also reduced down to 11. And then, no, the aft belts I'm not going to change. I'm going to change the four and aft. I'm not going to change the four and aft decks, I mean. Yeah, those get down to there. Enhanced electro hydro standard. Right. You won't let me have 32 knots. They won't let me have 32 knots. Can negative two work? Can negative two point five work? Yes. Can negative three work? I want to try and um, make this thing as sleek as possible. Can negative three point five work? Yes, it can. Can negative four work? Yes, it can. Four point five. Not nah, negative four. That's the furthest we can go. Yep. We have a massive full weight. We have a massive belt issue. We need armor. I'm agreeing with Robo here. Armor and armor and well. Here's the thing though. These things are gonna have their Q turrets removed in the future to get fifteen inch guns anyway. Robo, do I remove the Q turret? Hold on a second. Okay, remove the Q turret. Last post. Loudly. Yeah, we already have a Q turret on the battleship. We have the power of the, Q the we have the power of the almighty Q turret on our side anyway. Things are gonna be fine. second if I move those guns slightly oh for frick's sake right I did stand above that correct yeah I did yeah I did stand superimposed and then on the 13.5s there we 
go. Actually, if I can move that slightly forward. And then that, that slightly forward. I can do that slightly forward. I can do these slightly forward. Reduce the belt size. Right, we've reduced our belt size. We have gotten rid of the Q turret, rest in peace Q turret on this design. Well, premature rest in peace, I should say, because it was going to happen anyway. At least make it happen in the original design. Uh. Here's the thing, my luck isn't my luck isn't that great that I would delete all the enemies before they get close to my battle cruiser, so unfortunately Q turret goes. Get some armor to the four point seven inch guns. Yep. Standard, standard. Okay, 31 knots. So the shaft spree is completed. Now up on the chopping block. No anything but using that hull. Okay, light cruiser. Rear tower. Actually, that's better rear tower. More cost effective. Get more bang for your buck. That's the forward. Then Turn the barbed around. There. Good. Main caliber turret is going to be six inch for this guy. And then balance in quickly. So we are now officially an ocean liner by turret number. Well, not turret number, a funnel number, I mean. Massive lost Overwatch kill streak chosen. One hunting Archon, come OP, and prison break. Okay. All right. Yep, we are set up funnel wise. It's good. Better shafts, a balance rudder, and electro hydraulic steering. The best available to us armor. Not the best armor. Probably everyone else is crop 3, we are just stuck with crop 2. I hope I can change that. I don't want the shafts breeze to. Um, Suffer badly. Oh. Hold on a second, I actually just need to name the light cruiser. Uh. Oh god, I need to get spend for the last part of the name. Hold on. If you know um, what type of music I've been getting into recently, new ro which is New Romantics, you probably know um, what I'm naming these ships. What this ship class after. And no, it isn't Duran Duran before you say, oh, you're naming it Duran Duran. No. This is Spandau Ballet. That's going to be the class name, 
I just need to find uh, the spell ballet, which is a. Uh, Spandau Ballet class light cruisers. Um, I wish. Well, hold on a second. Hold on, I could actually reduce the number of buttons in this thing. Good news, everyone! We can fit torpedoes! Unfortunate news, everyone! We can't fit torpedoes! But yeah. Hold on a second, I need to, I need to add the HMS to span down ballet, so hold on. Advanced layer. I've got the HMS here, so uh HM S Spandau Ballet. Fishing tubes? What? Do you want us to have a fearsome element of fishing net that some Russian ships would confuse us as torpedo boats for? <laughs> Robo, you know exactly what I've just referred to, and I think the other view does as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Russian 2nd Pacific Squadron. Right. Well, we could add in underwater torpedoes at least. Yeah, have our fearsome element of fishes. Our torpedo tech is horrible, at least on the caliber of torpedo. Oh, we can actually fit them in. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> agreed, Robbo. Those cods and haddocks. Da the Russians hate those. They hate them so much that they would shoot ships that even produce them. Produce them so their crews can survive the rest of their lives with the money they make. Hardly any they make, actually, I think. I'm thinking if I compact the funnel down smaller, I can add in a torpedo tube there. Nope. Well, that location is going to be re added in a funnel then. And. What we are going to put there instead. Three inch gun. And we'll also fit a three inch there. And because this is me we're talking about here, not some anyone else, 3.1 inch. Oh yeah, Pollocks. My favourite type of fish through the ones I've eaten is trout. God, I love trout. And yes, because I've named this class Spandau Ballet, there will be uh, HMS Gold as a part of the class. Just so that I could make a reference to that song every time one of these things appears in battle. You go forward your soul. Yep, that's uh, the light cruisers down chat. Now, the destroyer. Right, where about...
else is that name you wanted, Robbo? There. Alright, get capitals in. There you go, Robbo. Your name request has been accepted. Even if I can't properly pronounce it. No, I'll one up you there. I'll make a light cruiser called Sp called Fives. It'll be the first modern cruiser, and it'll be a one-off cruiser. No, the one-off. I'll do an armored cruiser just after I've done this, and I'll do it as a one-off ship named after Fives. Are you sure I have to have it survive the campaign no matter what? Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, as we're British here, 4.7 inch guns. Or nothing. Four point sevens, good. Draught is naught. Beam also gotten rid of. But increasement of size, which um, you would be glad to know, means more torpedoes, or I could, or I could add in a whole bunch of DACA. Okay, Robbo, I'll make you a deal. The next battleship class will be named after Fives. The next battleship class, or the first modern cruiser we ever have, will be named Fives. Up to you on that decision, but... Yep. Massive torpedo... torpedo mint. Which should hopefully give enough, um, give enough torpedo daca that the um, destroyers would be able to give enough blood to the blood gods. <laughs> Sorry, I stole your line there, Robbo, but <laughs> mine sweeping is the light cruisers are mine laying. But yeah, what should it be? Battleship or modern cruiser that I make? Um, Named after the Cam Chatka of XCOM Chat Squad. Wait, no, actually, Robbo, because you have given me that challenge. Robbo, because you've given me that challenge in my track record of destroyers. There. There now. If this thing sinks, this thing sinks. It's go not going to be my problem. Uh. <laughs> Don't mind what I'm just doing now. <laughs> there. You can have the destroyer fives. Oh wait, also, make this, as it's a destroyer, ridiculously fast then. It's gonna die anyway, so. Right, Fives is only gonna be a one-off destroyer because, um. Because we need to make sure that. We need to make sure that, um. What? I'm in a live stream! Uh, oh, I'm very 
sees it. Well, he's going to have more incentive to keep five other fives alive in XCOM. I'm going to have to finish designing the ship and then take a break from the stream. Be as in, like, cut the stream out for the break because I've got important behind camera stuff to do. But I will finish making the destroyer, which will be the name you actually wanted. Scarlet! I'll just finish doing this ship here and then we can walk the dog. Right. Now to um, make sure I'm not being biased to poor um, fives. 2,000 in... Okay. Let's max armor everything on this thing. I'm definitely not being biased to poor old fives. Probably. I hope Fives dies before the campaign finishes. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of me trying to pull murder of my bond mate. For right now. As I've already plotted enough murder with him. <laughs> that thing. Oh yeah. Robbo, just saying. I will actually do a fives as a battle cruiser, but um Yeah, I'm just doing that one as a joke of um I have a HMS fives, it's never gonna sink because it's not ever gonna be put into service. Thirty two protection yep okay so I'm going to be stopping the stream now I'm going to be stopping the stream now and it'll be like a 15 20 minute ish break and then I'll be back so yeah for YouTube viewers it's a, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow and for Twitch viewers, if you're back, it'll be see you in a bit.